All right, what we have now is a TL431 based current limiter circuit. We've done this with an LM317 and an extra transistor, which ended up being a PNP. This has got to be the simplest, most straightforward setup, and you can use an NPN transistor such as a 2N3055. In this case, I'm using a TIP41, um, which is an NPN TO220 transistor. Make sure you got it heat synced. The entire circuit, this is the load of 10 ohm resistor. This is the feedback resistor, which is also 10 ohms. You divide 2.5 by the feedback resistor, and it's approximately uh, 10 into 2.5 is going to be 250, 260 milliamps. That includes some current back through a little bit of the other circuit, but you can play with your circuit values. The good point about this is is you will always get, um, I haven't ch checked it for short circuit, but it can probably take it. Um, this, this enables you to run things like a stepper motor controller, and maybe you want to limit the current through the system. This would work. Right now it's putting out pretty steady 270 milliamps into a 10 ohm load. seems to work pretty well. So we'll look at the schematic and I'll explain how this operates. Now we're going to be using the TL431 programmable shunt regulator to build a constant current source. Briefly again, this is a three pin device, has pin one reference, two anode, three cathode, it's like a variable Zener diode in a way with a reference pin. With a voltage divider, you can control the current through the device to make what is essentially a programmable Zener diode or shunt uh, current regulator. Internally, it has a 2.5 volt reference, an op amp, a couple of diodes, and an output transistor. Okay, this is the TL431 used with an NPN transistor to form essentially a, a precision current limiter. It consists of really just two resistors, R1 and RCL. Yes, there is some current that flows through R1 that's divided between Q1 for IB and IK through the cathode, most of the current output is determined by RC, the value of RCL. Divide 2.5 volts by, RC, by RCL, and that determines most of your output. This is the actual circuit that I demonstrated in the live video. I have an input of 16 volts and I have a 10 ohm load. RCL is another 10 ohm resistor. And let's look at our basic formula. 2.5 divided by RCL. You see there is a current IK. Here's IB and IK through 680. The IB goes that way. IK moves through uh, the cathode anode of the TL431. It all comes back together, but it amounts to this. If you divide 2.5 by 10 ohms, you get approximately 250 milliamps for I out. Because this is a 10 ohm resistor, and uh, I have 250 milliamps for IO, I'll produce 2.5 volts at this resistor. Again, I'm going through the same essentially current over here. And this will come out to be 5 volts. What I'm really doing is I'm dropping 11 volts across Q1. Q1 will get hot. What controls the 
Okay, the volt the voltage um, basically the voltage between reference and cathode controls the current flow through the gate uh, through the base emitter junction, which controls the conduction of Q1. The big nice part about this is we did not have to use a PNP transistor. Like I said this is an NPN transistor. I used a TIP42. That's it. Not a lot to it. I hope this was useful. Um, please visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for listening.